Hello, this is Rob with Gold Plating Services, and today we're going to be gold plating this Tesla car emblem. Uh, this is coated with 24 karat gold, and we're going to show you how it was done. We're going to be plating it using the Pro Lab, it's our new bath plating kit, and we have a new special tower that we've made specifically for chrome stripping, as all of these emblems have a layer of chrome on them, and underneath that is nickel. We're going to show you how it's done. So this very first step is chrome stripping. And we just set it on this rack and you can see the stripping start to happen. It's going to be in here for about 30 seconds. Some emblems have more chrome, some emblems have less. Uh, usually in about 30 seconds you'll be getting most of the chrome off. Now the reason we need the special tower for chrome stripping is chrome stripping requires what's called reverse polarity. It switches it around and makes the positive negative and then negative positive. After we come out of there we're going to be going into the surface activator solution and then we're going to go down to the 24 karat bright gold solution. You may notice all the extra beakers here, they're uh, just there set up for other plating jobs. All right, let's check it out. Now it's gonna be hard for you guys to tell, but it's uh, already a little bit more of a tan color. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it a little bit longer just in case, because if you don't get all the chrome off, the gold plating will not stick to it. Um, the key thing to look for is when you come out of the rinse after the chrome stripping, you want to make sure the part stays wet everywhere. If you see anywhere where the water is drying really quickly or breaking, then you did not get all the chrome off. That should be good. So now I'm going to come into a distilled water rinse. Look at it. Looks wet out to me. Nice tan color. And now we're going to move down to the surface activator. This is now a nickel surface and the surface activator will activate the nickel. This is only about a five second step, just a real quick activation. And now into the magical 24K bright gold solution. Now we're gonna leave that in there for about two minutes. It'll put on a really thick layer, probably about Oh, I don't know, about a quarter of a micron. For intents and purposes of an emblem, that's plenty. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video and get back with you as soon as it's done. All right, guys, it's been two minutes. Let's check out how this masterpiece looks. Oh, yeah, it looks beautiful. See, just in that short time, we got these two emblems done. You can uh, really do a lot of work with this kit going to go ahead and rinse it in distilled water and some people wonder if they can <clears throat> immediately handle the part yeah it's it's set there's no curing time nothing I'll get them dried off and actually they still have the adhesive backing on the back it doesn't affect it they just stick right to the car perfectly fine as if it's an, a normal emblem um, so yeah that's uh, how easy it is to do 24K gold plated car emblems and uh, this Tesla emblem looked great. The customer's gonna love it. We got them all dried off and I thought I'd just show you what they look like. You may have noticed we had them clipped. Uh, people wonder if there's gonna be clip marks. As you can see, there is not. They look fantastic. It gets all the sides and everywhere. See, and brush plating works, but you may miss some spots, and with this, you can do it multiple at a time that quick and uh, get 100% coverage. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Again, this is the Pro Lab with the new chrome stripping tower. Um, we also have electric cleaner set up here for if you were going to do like other items the Gold Strike, Activator, Bright Nickel, and 24K Bright Gold. They look awesome.